My name is Joe Chang, and I am Newskin's Chief Scientific Officer and Head of Product Development. In Newskin, our research scientists are constantly evaluating and staying abreast of the latest scientific discoveries. As such, we became interested in the movement of cells. All living things are in motion. Cells move as well as components of cells. Emergence of cell research illustrates that tension and movement are important in cellular fitness, just like the whole human body. Skin cells may look static, but they are constantly moving. Like many living tissues, the skin thrives in a dynamic state. This inspired our team to investigate the potential benefits of the dynamic movement on the skin. We hypothesize that the application of a dynamic mechanical loading regime on human skin analog consisting of human dermal fibroblasts grown in 3D collagen gels would mimic the in vivo environment of skin. This loading regime may also potentially result in the enhanced production of beneficial molecules associated with healthy skin and downregulation of molecules believed to exhibit negative effects on skin. We reached out to a third-party preclinical research organization to help study our hypothesis. For this study, human dermal fibroblasts from three different donors were used in the collagen scaffolds. After seven days in culture, the fibroblast seeded collagen scaffolds were evaluated and found to be viable and ready for mechanical testing. The scaffolds were tested under static strain and cyclic strain, and the negative control was unstrained. The scaffolds that experienced static compression loading produced a down regulation of relative collagen 1 and TGF beta gene expression compared to the unstrained control samples. Of course, this is not really a good change we would want for these genes because this would be indicative of a reduction of structural proteins. By contrast, those scaffolds that experienced the cyclic strain yielded different results. The expression of decrin, biglycan, collagen 1, and TGF beta were all upregulated. These are good and positive changes for the skin. Let me explain. The TGF beta pathway is a primary regulator of extracellular matrix production. The extracellular matrix includes elastin and collagen proteins, as well as proteoglycans, and they are produced by fibroblasts. It is what gives skin its remarkable properties. As such, it is now easy to understand the desire to have TGF1 beta gene expression to be upregulated. Collagen 1, much like it sounds, produces the type 1 collagen. It combines with other collagen chains to create type 1 pro-collagen. Collagen is the major structural protein 
found within the extracellular matrix of the skin. Moisture is vital to skin structure and the extracellular matrix holds water to keep the skin hydrated. Dacrin and biglycan are moisture retaining or water binding molecules. Thus, their presence alone is important enough but also helps to support the components within the extracellular matrix. We are very excited about these results and we'll have an opportunity to share them with the scientific community throughout 2017.